Hello my dear sisters and brothers, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a day, it's a beautiful day. Here it is very good weather and something good to think about is the day when we can we remember the when Jesus ascended to heaven. Something good to think about is that even the our government is make has made this day to become free everyone is free so that we can have we can celebrate at home that because this is not the, even the work day it is a day is a free day for everyone something good eh? even the shops are closed and in we call this day, so it is a holiday today, actually. And it is the day when we remember when the Jesus ascended to heaven. Even our government is acknowledging that, acknowledging this day. And uh, that means that this is something good, that it is telling to the world that um, this thing really happened because it has been spoken it has been spoken because this our this country Norway is a is a Norway is a Christian country and uh, those holidays like Pentecost they are also uh, recognized that we also are free those days we, we people are not working and even today people are not working but uh, sadly that even if we even if the government can acknowledge this day, but still we have the people who does not believe in God. That means that the, maybe the gospel hasn't been preached enough. I don't know. Because they all know me. I don't know what. But we, don't, we believe that there will be some... If we pray for them, for those who does not, who can't believe in God, I think that's something good we have to do. Is we have to pray for them, those who does not believe, so they also may be saved. Because we have been saved for free, and it is our job to save the others. Let the devil go to hell alone, but we will go to heaven. We make sure that we pick those people who cannot believe. So we help them as much as we can, to, so we can go together with them in heaven. Because the heaven is something good, some, something good. So today we are going to talk about Jesus when he ascended to heaven. We hear that, I am talking about the last words that Jesus actually spoke to the disciples. Mm, what did Jesus did? spoke to his disciples in for the last time something is to remember therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit that it was his last word that he wanted us i was talking speaking about the baptism in my previous video that jesus was talking about the baptism is very important and the last word last thing he was speaking about he told his disciples go and make nations all nations disciples by baptizing them in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit so this is something good to know that he, today Jesus is revealing what is so called Trinity of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is the first time we hear Jesus speak about the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in whole. And he, Jesus was always walking around on the on earth. He never tried to mention who he was. You understand that sometimes when he tried to speak about who he was they try to they wanted to stone him they say that he is um what they said they when he was talking i remember one time he just tried to to say that if god is his i mean god father god is his father and they they took the stones and they wanted to stone him
because he, he was always trying to be humble and this is how we should actually be he was humble because he came to talk to us he took our weaknesses and he, he knew that he, our weaknesses he could harm we could make people harm him and he was not really finished what he what he came for but now he has finished everything and he revealed himself to the old world that he is the part of the trinity and he command people that go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and Teach them to obey all I have commanded you to. The two things here, baptism, obedience. Amen? Baptism, obedience. This is what Jesus was trying to remind and we must remember every time. Baptism, obedience. Are you baptized? Do you obey the word of Jesus Christ? If not, read his words you find them in mark luke john everywhere you find them also in even in these words of his disciples he those is the words of the disciples are actually they come from jesus because he revealed them through through revelations and whatever so these words are very important for us to take in us in our bodies so we walk with them so that um, these words will transform them us you understand that will transform us these words when we obey them when we learn to obey them because our bodies are weak but we learn we read the word of the word of god and then we pray and then we try to to crucify our bodies so that we but then the Holy Spirit is strengthening us and he, we, he when he, the, the Holy Spirit is strengthening us then we become transformed and at the end of the time you see someone is totally changed this is how things work here you do your part but you let the Holy Spirit do the rest and you will be turned and when the holy spirit is inside of you is transforming you from inside you become new creature when you become new creature your desires changes all the things that you used to love you see them as rubbish i was there i was i was so much i had a, i was full of lust before I was full of lust. I had a lot of things that I desired. That, but when I think about them now, I see them like rubbish. I do not want them anymore. It's, this is how we become transformed by the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is making you becoming connected to Jesus Christ. The reason why many people do not understand us, because we have changed and we change it from inside and they think that they cannot change my dear friend i give you the good news that if you accept you will also be changed and something good is that you will inherit the kingdom of god you become a child of god there is a lot of benefits and jesus say that and surely i am with you always surely i am with you always so jesus even if he left to heaven but he still he is with us how it is through holy spirit because the holy spirit is jesus himself the reason why we continue we can do miracles we can heal the sick we can do everything that jesus did because we, we holy spirit in us is doing that those works i'm with you always at the end of the age amen so this is actually something good to celebrate about it is not something to cry oh jesus has left us now what shall we really do because now we cannot do anything because now what can we do oh you understand that 
he is with us always he say that he will he is will be with us always and he is with us always to the end of the age the same words we found we, we find also jesus was talking about um, when he appeared to his disciples to his disciples for first time after when he was resurrected he told them and he said to them go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature whoever believes and is baptized will be saved again here jesus is also talking about believing and the baptist he means that <coughs> sorry 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 believing and the baptized will be saved so many people used to say that you only need baptism you only need to believe because there is a word in the same whoever believe will be saved but here jesus is saying whoever believes and is baptized will be saved this is the same thing i was speaking about in my free previous video when i was talking about baptism you find it and you can listen to it you will have benefit of it because baptism is very important and jesus also is speaking about it again that whoever believe and be baptized will be saved and he continue by saying that uh, but whoever does not believe will be condemned so if you do not believe in the in, in if you do not believe you are not free jesus did not come here on earth to play games he did not come here to he did not have to leave the heaven to come here to play he came to save us so if you hear your the, his voice you hear what i'm talking now is his voice do not harden your heart because you will be condemned that's uh, something that whoever who is not believing will be condemned amen so will be condemned because he uh, god is he is you is our god even if you say that he is not my god but he is still your creator and he still have power over any everyone on earth he has overall power he is the highest authority and he has come to earth to bring that off to announce that authority so that you can uh, you can obey that authority so whoever who does not want to bow down to this authority must be condemned it is like when you are living and you, are, you you do not want to obey to your government you will be of course you'll be you'll be condemned i'm just giving you an example try to drive a car and you try to drive on a red light and you will see the police will come and will take you and make you responsible for that so god will make you responsible for not wanting to believe amen so believing is something that is must for everyone because god is the god is the, is the creator of everything and he has come to acknowledge us and if this acknowledgement must come to you and if you have you do not ag agree with it you have problem do you understand in my so and these signs will accompany those who believe in my name they will drive out demons they will speak in new tongues they will speak up snakes with their hands and before they drink a deadly poison they will eat if they drink the poison it will not harm them they will lay their hands on the sick and they will be made well something like this you understand we do not take poison and drink because this is called to test our god don't i'm not going to tell you go and take poison and drink because you are going to you are but it can happen like someone put poison in your food because they wanted to kill you you will not die 
Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? If someone and you take the food and you don't know what is in the food and you take it and that is how you will not die. I have the testimony of about it, about it, and I have the testimony of some of them, even from the Bible that Paul was beaten by a snake somewhere and he did not die. Do you understand that? So do not go. Uh, I mean, we, we we these are our weapons as Christians because this is something is not going to work for unbelievers, but it is working only for those who believe and be for those who are true disciples of Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? Mm hmm go and baptize so this is what jesus jesus so i'm talking about when jesus ascended to heaven we they we find this world in in acts in we find this world in acts we find this world in acts verse 1 chapter 9 to 12 acts verse 1 to chapter 1 verse 9 to 12 we find this word that now when he had spoken the things while they watched he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel who also said men of Galilee why do you stand men of Galilee? Why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus who was taken up from you in heaven will so come in like manners as you saw him go into heaven. understand so we must rem we know that the the way jesus left this is the way he will come back amen praise the living god the way he left this is how he came back let me pray for you father god i bring this person who is listening in your hand let the world transform them let the world change them whoever who received this message Penetrate into the heart. I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to penetrate into the heart. I rebook the evil spirits. I rebook the demonic spirits. I rebook the power of the devil. I bind it and cast it out of that person in the name of Yeshua. Father God, you are the King of Kings. You are the God. Let your kingdom come in this world. I bind the power of the devil. I bind the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling you, devil, get out of that person. Get out of that child of God. Get out of that precious soul in the name of Jesus. look to me devil you have no you are not allowed to live in that body you must leave that body i send the fire of the holy ghost that you will be punishing you until you get out of that person let this person be alone father i thank you i glorify your name i honor your name your name is so worthy it's so great. My Lord, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, how, how blessed I am to have you in my life. Thank you because you have together with us, Lord. And you will never leave us. You will never even forsake us. I honor your name. I glorify your name. Your name is great and so powerful. And you are going to reveal yourself who you are to each and every one. 
in the name of Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. So I finished the video, so I hope you will love it. It is a little bit long, but if you take it, listen to it, you will be blessed. Amen.